in the double clean to flag. You must maintain crown to coxswain alignment, inch back. Pull the club in a straight line. Drive power to the top of your foot. Uh, elevate your heels. Reach the extension of your hips and the knee locked. When you drive the heels into the ground, you must reach flag position. Make sure you have the shoulder puck and the lock out of your elbow for one second before you pull it back. Make sure that the elbow line doesn't pass the line of the back into your pull. Deep exhale when you reach the flag. Double club and flag squat. Pack your shoulder, maintain crown to coccyx. Flag out, maintain wrist alignment, elbow locked. Torque your knee outside while you pull in the club belt down into your squat. Make sure that you roll the shoulder out of your pack. Don't lean forward with your chin. The elbow should be locked through the whole movement. In the iron cross, you start from the back park position, pull the club in a straight line, creating an arch with your elbow locked. Then you press the club back into the top of your head and pull it back in the park position. Make sure that through all the movement, your elbow are locked, your wrist is alignment, your crown to coccyx, and your knee is locked. Make sure that your scaps are tied together while you are on the full lock of your iron cross. The Barbarian Clubber Squat. You pull the clubber from the back part position. When you are on the top of the head, make sure you are, your elbow is in the line of your ear. Keep pressing the clubber on the top while you pull it down, you synchronize your squat. The elbow should be locked, the shoulder should be back. As you can see, the club belt is in a straight line position. It doesn't bend toward to the shoulder. Use your power breathing while you're executing the movement. In your double club bell side cast press. Drive your hips to the side. Once you execute the drive of your hips, one knee is locked, the other knee might be bending as a side effect. Then you cast your club bell and you strongly press out. Your shoulder should be packed down, you press through your lats and to your peg. Then you, you're gonna be locked out for half a sec. Then you're gonna be pulling back in a straight order position. Use your power breathing while you're pressing the club out. Club bell double swipes. Key point. Roll back before you start to swing. Understanding, pack down, last activation. The knee never drop forward. You never squat too much. You inch back enough to feel the posterior chain. Once you reach order position, make sure the elbows are on top of the hips. There is no space between your armpit and your thoracic. Cast your club back and forward every time your knee is locked until you drive your hips to execute your swipes. Focus on your disciplinary breathing. Club double side swipes. Start from a back parking position. Drive your hips to the side. Cast the club to the opposite side. Extend your club Snap your hips. Catch the club bell into your order while the hips is on the opposite side of your club bell. Make sure the knee is locked when you reach an order position. Make sure you don't drop your knee too much during your swinging. When the club bell reaches 6 o'clock, big hip snap to be able to pull through your lats. Keep your shoulder down every time you pull the club bell toward the position. Make sure to full lock your elbow, get the saber grip, and have the club bell fly simultaneously in a straight semicircle. Adopt the dissimilar breathing if is needed. 